Hey everybody, it's Darcy and I'm the Bad Artist from London, Ontario. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm doing a rooster fish for my good friend Brenda. Um, Brenda and I worked at McDonald's back in the 1980s. And beautiful, beautiful girl, beautiful woman now. And uh, it's funny, a funny story about Brenda. Um, she told me once she was at a party and there was this, again, 1980 nine somewhere in there and there was this kid there that was really really drunk so she got everybody in the room to start swaying back and forth like this and act as if everything was normal so when this drunk guy was watching all the people going back and forth like this he thought he was going crazy and threw up or something like that but anyway this is for Brenda and uh hope you're well Brenda and um here we go and this is a rooster fish for my friend Brenda. Hope you have a great day and uh, everything goes well for you. Take care. Okay, so this was um, another really neat fish that I like doing. One thing you gotta know, when I was looking up the images for reference photos of this fish, it really ranged um, from almost no color patterns. They all seem to have those dark stripes on them, but in some cases they could just be a very light gray on a silver backed fish so as I was doing this I really tried to pull out the colors as best I could to represent the colors of the fish probably in its uh, best form if I said that um, but a lot of these fish pictures that I saw there's sometimes almost no color in them now this is a they say non edible fish in that sense um, it's just considered a bonefish, and bonefish don't have a lot of meat on them. The one, uh, I'm doing them right now in the video, uh, it's these spines on its back dorsal fin. The neat thing, it well, may not be neat to you, but I've learned this in watching over this fish, they only have seven of these spines. A lot of times, um, many fish of the same exact species and family, and, and they would have you know, anywhere from, you know, say 20 fine spines to 17, so, but these fish only ever have seven. And the other crazy thing about this, I don't know if I've ever said this, I absolutely am terrified of sharks. Ever since I watched the movie Jaws, I will not go into salt water, I won't even put my feet in them. These fins <laughs> jut through uh, the water at the surface, just like a shark's dorsal fin. Can you imagine seeing seven of these spikes swimming towards you? Uh, I mean, that would scare the absolute sh out of me. Um, so, anyway. But these are friendly fish. They're not harmful to humans. I've got an example here that's actually called the uh, Rooster Bar and Grill in Largo, Florida. They, uh, they did an excellent job there, you can see, of taking this logo of a rooster fish so if you're ever in if you're an artist and you want to start to promote your things working your uh making strong brand logos really works well so that's just a quick example there in florida which is a little bit odd because the one thing i found out about these fish is that they're only found in the pacific along the baja peninsula uh, california and that bar and grill is actually in florida um, the other neat thing about this fish, really good fighting fish, they get quite large, five, six um, feet sometimes, uh, 40, 50 pounds. Apparently they are uh, pretty aggressive when they go after their lures and bait, but in read on them, I guess they rush in so quickly they tend to miss. So there's stories out there that the, the fishermen will be fishing and they'll feel something hit the line. And if they know it's the rooster fish, they'll just sort of sit there and go, all right, he missed it. And then they'll dart back again and hit the lure and miss it <laughs> until finally it actually comes in, I don't know, slow enough or focused enough where it actually takes the, the bait. Uh, one of the good things about these fish is they are generally because they can't be eaten because they are just bone fish is that it's a catch and release program. Lots of charters out there though that go specifically for these fish simply because of the fight. 
in southern Ontario, really good fighting fish that is not eaten at all is called a sheephead. And it's also referred to as a drum fish. But I had a lot of fun painting this. This is for my friend Brenda. I mentioned it before in the introduction. And she is a really good friend back from the 80s. I've known her my whole life. And she's currently living in Washington. And she's an artist herself, but she actually does uh, framing at her company called Mountain Girl Framing. But I hope you enjoyed this. This was a really good fish. I like the outcome. It w I wanted to throw it out several times because it was pretty rough getting to this point. So, But I uh, really like the support um, and uh, appreciate all the comments. And I have hopefully another couple coming this week. So you have a great day and take care of yourselves.